Yo, welcome back to the channel, Carl's Kicks. Thank you all for tuning in. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do that now. Helps the channel, hit that like button, helps with the algorithm so my videos will pop up to other shoe lovers, all right? So, I'm back with another shoe review. You already know what it is, I'm sure, by seeing this box. So, here's the label. All right, so we got the Air Jordan 13 Retro colors are Navy, University, Blue, and Black. Now, um, I want to show you guys this. Now, this is something that you might know. Um, it's a little new to me because I don't know when they start doing this on 13s. So, now you know most of my videos with the Jordan 1s, I'll show you the RFID chip to legit check the shoe. 13s have that as well now. So, you see that? And I actually went back and checked some of my other 13s. And um, some of them have it. As you can see, the silver box is there. Let's see. This one has it, has it, has it, has it. So it looks like it's been on here for a while and I never paid attention. So if you guys didn't know that, you can legit check the 13s. By hitting it with a black light on the label because it had an RFID chip just like all of the Jordan ones, all right? So I thought that was good info. So I want that wanted to pass that along. Like I said, you guys might have known that. Um, and I think it just it passed me because I've never actually legit checked a pair of 13s just because 13 isn't like a super major hype shoe. Some people like it, some don't, but uh, it's not like maybe a, a Doran Becker. Um, I would have legit checked the 13, but I don't really have like an exclusive 13, like a BN 13 or something like that. So I never really legit check my 13s and they all really come the same. You know, you open up the box, usually there's no stickers, no stamps, no nothing. So, you know, receipt, champs. Um, so I never really legit checked them. So that's good to know though now for sure. So I'm sure you just saw the shoe. These are the brave blue 13, right? Now this shoe, y'all gonna have to correct me in the comments. This shoe dropped in a low top, mid top, however you want to say it. And I want to say that was in 2014. Um, yeah, I think it was 2014. And then they just released the high top version of it. So I know a lot of people going crazy over this. I really like that shoe in the low top. Now, if you don't know, just go pull up a picture. Basically, all of this is cut off. And right here is just like a silver Jumpman logo. Doesn't have like the holographic, you know, eye in there. All right. Now, if you don't know, the Jordan 13 was based off of a Panther. This is the paw print of a Panther. Because people said watching Michael Jordan play, <laughs> you know, they call him the Black Panther. Uh, you know, Tinker say he reminded him of a Panther. All right. So that is what this is based off of. This is the eye. So, you know, you put both of your shoes together. You know, you got that eyes of the Panther. Okay. So that is what the Jordan 13 was based off of. Now, this is really classic 13. Nothing has changed. It's the colorway. This is just like the same color on the flints, just about. Um, and then we got the black suede here. And that is going to be hard to keep clean, okay? Then we got the leather on the toe, all right? Now, of course, behind your Jordan, you always got your Roman numeral 13. Jumpman on the tongue. Now, this blue Jumpman is kind of it's kind of off. That blue doesn't really match. This kind of reminds me of the university blue color. That Jumpman doesn't really match anything on the shoe. Um, I mean, it does fit in. It would have been nice if they just tied that blue into here make it a dark blue like that but hey they didn't it is what it is what are you gonna do um we got the carbon fiber on the but now it does match this okay so maybe that's what they were going for that jump man logo does match down here on the bottom okay and we got our carbon fiber just like on all the 13s um and that's pretty much up on the shoe if you want this shoe it is still going very close to retail barely over Retail was 190 on the shoe. I think you can get this shoe for like 200 and something bucks, 220. After shipping the taxes, it's gonna hit you for 250, but you can't beat that. I do think in time these shoes will go up just because of how much hype was behind them. It's just so much stuff coming out. They sitting right now, but if you want this shoe, go and get it while it's cheap, all right? Um, thank you guys for tuning in. We out of here.